This week's feast. Popsicles. This week we're making popsicles! From Zootopia, and yep. we have a real member of the animal kingdom to help us out today. Kiwi, say hi. All right, let's get cooking. Before yeah. we do, Kiwi, you're gonna have to come down from the table because it's not sanitary for you to be up here. She's a pretty cute mascot, though. Zootopia is one of our favorite movies this year, and Popsicles certainly made an impression on us when Nick Wilde set his clever plans in motion to recycle the Jumbo Pop and sell it to the gerbil businessmen. Now, if you want to make your own popsicle, blend some frozen fruit and juice together and puree it until it's as smooth as it gets. Let the bubbles subside so they don't cloud your final mixture. Now, this might take a while, so let's check in with our resident fox, Kiwi, and see if she can help us at all. Okay, so we've got one Kiwi paw, and there's our paw print mold. Much wow. Such magic. Okay, seriously now, can you please go wash that mold? Okay, thanks. Go ahead and pour your mixture into the mold and suck out any excess bubbles with a straw. Now, you can bend some popsicle sticks and put them in there and let this freeze, or... Psst. Hey, kid. Why would you bother with this homemade popsicle recipe when you can just get someone else to do the hard part for you? Would you look at these perfectly pre-made popsicles? Just unwrap them from their packaging, toss them into a bowl, and let the sun come out. And by sun, we mean microwave. Let these treats melt all the way down to the stick. The power of the microwave is mighty indeed. Gotta love a simple solution. And look, you even have some high quality lumber to sell. We looked and looked, but we couldn't find popsicle molds. So be a sly fox and just use a candy mold instead. Since candy melts are much thicker, we're gonna have to make a little sneaky adjustment to this mold to make sure that our popsicle juice doesn't go everywhere. Use a little bit of food safe clay and create a seal at the top of the mold and spoon in your melted popsicle juice. Look at that, no leakage. Stick these bad boys in the freezer, take them out when they're frozen and remove the clay and voila. Okay, so maybe there is a little bit of extra work on both ends, but hey feasters, it's a hustle out there. Survival of the fittest, all right? And now that you're armed with the knowledge of how to make these refreshing popsicles, we think you're gonna do just fine. They're so cute. So cute. Mm. And I feel like I'm not eating that many calories. No, not at all. Because they're just bite-sized. They're perfect. Mm. Wow, I like them. I just bit off a couple of toes. Whoa. Another great summer treat. Yeah, refreshing, cool. Recycle, reuse, re-eat. Ha! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Keep commenting. That's right, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>